Hi, I'm Haley. I'm an actor in Los Angeles. I've spent years trying to figure out exactly what I need to do to be the most effective working actor. With my co-founder, Indiana Underhill, we started a company called Cinematography for Actors, where we teach the technical requirements of film and television performance. We realized that even though we were teaching a lot of great stuff in our courses, that's all stuff that you need to know once you get on set. We will help you figure out all of the things that you need to be doing daily to book the job and then use that technical knowledge. Let me show you what I do. The first website I want to show you is Actors Access. The biggest thing that it's used for for actors is submitting to breakdowns. When you first log in, you'll see this dashboard and you can do a lot of different things, but the first thing I do, and I really don't spend much time here in my dashboard on a daily basis from time to time I do to go in and update things, but the first thing I do is go right here to breakdowns, United States, Los Angeles, because that's where I am. And you'll see that I've looked at some of these already. I'll hit union breakdowns because that's what I want to see. And this is where you'll see all of the breakdowns and you can go through and you can look at, well, you know, it's theater or it's a student film and you can skip over it if you want. Um, I tend to just click right into the first one. If I want to submit to something, I put it in my cart and then I just hit next and I continue through until I reach a breakdown that I have seen from the day before. We'll go ahead and look at what's in summertime blue. And this is where you will see the breakdown. The breakdown here is you'll see that these are the different characters you can choose from. Uh, usually gives you a short little description. You can see when the shoot dates are and what the rates are for that. This will also always up here say if it's union or non-union, usually give you a director, a writer, or and a casting director um, and how they want that audition. If it's most of the time these days it's going to be self-tapes. None of these work for me, but let's go ahead and pretend that I want to audition for Mira. Uh, this little window will populate here and all of your headshots will come up. Um, I definitely recommend the premium membership. It's really not very expensive compared to other sites. And then you can have many photos and many clips. Um, your real clips will be here. You can choose whether or not to include a size, a size card. Sometimes they ask you to do that if it is a uh, commercial. I'll select a photo. So I'll select that. I'll select a reel and hit add to cart. And then once you're finished uh, navigating through the different pages here and seeing all of the submissions you want to do on Actors Access. You can do them all at once, which is really nice. Um, you'll go ahead and hit continue to cart. And then in your cart, you'll see everything that you've selected. Uh, this is a very uh, distracting and sometimes worrying thing that pops up. Don't worry about it. It pops up every time. Uh, the highlighted items have not actually changed, so don't worry. And then you'll just go ahead and hit I'm a robot and hit submit. And if you have a premium membership, this is all zero dollars and you don't have to pay for anything. The amount of new breakdowns really varies from day to day. It depends on what projects are happening at the time. A good rule of thumb is as soon as you see the breakdown, submit. Everyone is submitting as soon as they see the breakdown. It is normal actor practice daily to do this. I want to show you how to navigate through the rest of this website. Um, if you hit the home button, you'll go right back to your dashboard. Your tools is going to be a really important place for you to keep up to date with. Uh, it'll show you your account if you hit it and that'll tell you um, you can change your username, you can change your password. Uh, this is for your um, default breakdowns, but you can see if you hit here, it'll populate in case you move and you want to change that. Over here, this will you can decide what you want your um, emails and notifications to be about. Uh, if you want, if you don't want non-union projects sent to you, you can hit that. If you don't want reality TV, you can have that sent to you. Uh, C-mail updates, when you want to be notified when you get a C-mail. 
Uh, your contact information is going to be really important. Make sure you keep that updated. Manage your profile is a really hefty area. You'll go into your About Me when you first get it and you, you can see that there are a lot of options for skills that you can have. Don't choose a skill unless you're ready to do it for auditions today. Don't be shy to put any disability in there that you may have. Casting is doing a lot of really great work right now that we're happy to see where the casting is inclusive of disability. And so put that in there. Don't feel like you have to hide it. You definitely want to keep this updated. If you have additional skills that they don't have listed, they have a lot, but you know, you might have something really cool. Make sure you put that in there. A full profile is really going to look best to casting, uh, then you can go ahead and you can look at your resume and that's where you'll put everything you've worked on. Um, and you, there's a lot of freedom here to kind of organize it the way you want to. Um, I've seen a lot of people put director names in there. I've seen a lot of people put types. I tend to put types in there. Um, but you can really play with that. There are three sections and you can put whatever you want in there. Um, you can go to your size card, which we're not going to go to because I definitely need to update that. Your photos. This also keeps a backlog of all the photos that I've ever had. So if there's something that's not on my profile right now, but I wish it was there, I can go back and select it. And you can see that my reps have chosen different photos that they want to be able to submit for me. And then you can also see all the photos you've ever removed. So some that just are not what we're looking for anymore are still in there. And I value that because I like being able to look back and see it. It's kind of a fun thing that they have allowed us to keep. And then in your media, this is where you'll upload your reels with a little, they like a short description of what the, you know, the scene is about. And this is also where you will be able to clip things out. It's better for you if you clip it out and then you can upload a bigger section because it costs about $20 a minute and then you can clip it out to smaller things. Then you'll go into order history. You can see everything. Let's choose some dates. You'll pick the dates between, we're gonna go way back. We'll go back to 2022 to today and search and it'll show you everything that you've ever auditioned or that you've ever submitted for or purchased on this website. And you can go in and click in and see what that was all about. So if there's something that you need to check on the old breakdown, it's in your order history. Uh, submissions are really, it's recent submissions. People do take submission their breakdowns down after a while sometimes um so you won't be able to find those in submissions but you will be able to find those in your order history submissions are nice if you are wondering if you've worked with a certain casting director before you can pop in and see and they'll show you how you did it you can go into the project breakdown and look at that whole breakdown again services get sides is a really great thing because they show facts works directly with the breakdown services so sometimes casting won't send you sides directly they'll just give you a code and you'll go in and you'll hit this hit enter sides code enter the code and that'll populate the sides for you it's just a great way for casting to keep things organized and not be sending emails all day long they can just upload them to breakdown services and tell you where to get them Talent link is something that I think is really valuable that I think a lot of people don't realize is legitimate. You can use talent link on Actors Access. I think it's $35. They do one monthly. You enter your pro, you complete your profile, you enter your special skills, your photo, your resume, your sides card, you get your profile casting ready, and then you select that you want your locations to be in Los Angeles or New York, and you send those out to every agency, every manager, every rep who has their books marked to open through breakdown services, and they'll send your stuff to them. So they'll see your stuff. You don't have to do an email to every single agent and ask them if their books are open or not. 
Actors Access will do that for you. Um, and I personally got reps doing that way. I definitely recommend it. It is not a scam. It's legitimate. Extras Access is another uh, breakdown services option for you if you just want to do background. You can go into Extras Access, sign up there. It's more of a add-on to something like Central Casting if you decide to go that round. You're going to get most of your work through Central. Screenplay Online is another cool breakdown services product. You can see the film that you are auditioning for if they want to send it to you. It's another place where they can upload it and they don't have to send you a huge email. You just sign in, you use the code, and you can see the screenplay um, if you want to read the whole thing. Then you can contact them. You can get help if you need help. Ecocast Live is where you'll go if you have an audition. They'll tell you it's an Ecocast Live and they'll tell you what time and they'll give you, I think, an access code. Mm, no, Ecocast Live. If you have an Ecocast Live, you will know. They will tell you and there will be, it'll show up here when you go into Ecocast Live and you'll just hit enter the room and it's a Zoom. It is Actors Access's version of a Zoom audition, so in case you don't have Zoom, it just helps streamline everything because you're going straight to your submission, you're going straight to this email that they sent you to say, we want to see you, clicking the button, and then you're in the audition room with them. It, there is a waiting room just like Zoom, so it'll tell you that they're going to let you in soon, so you have time to get pretty and get situated. Cmail is where you will see all of the contact between casting or even you can see some of my reps have reached out to me this way, but this is where you'll find out if you have an audition or if casting needs to reach out to you. I've also communicated with directors just letting me know certain information for the next day if they weren't able to get my contact information from my reps. And this is really great because it's all just in one place. And that is Actors Access. There is an option for a free Actors Access account if you don't feel like you're ready to purchase the Actors Access Plus membership, although I think that it pays for itself really quickly once you start submitting. The free account has the same resume that we have on the paid account. It has the special skills, the size card, you can link your talent reps if you have reps and you just don't want to pay for it yet because they can do a lot of the work on their end. Um, you can upload and edit two headshots, which is really great because you can have one that's kind of general and one that's more of a character for whatever type you're hoping to get cast as most of the time. You can look at breakdowns and you can submit. Submissions though on a free profile are going to cost you $5 per submission, which is really where that plus membership starts paying for itself. You can add an additional photo for 10 more dollars. When you start uploading reels, it's $22 a minute. So you can upload that and then clip it out. Slate shots are something that Actors Access does as well. It helps you get to the top of the list. Um, and those are $5 additional. And then you can have slate shots on all of your headshots. So I hope that this tour of Actors Access has been really helpful to you. This is part of my daily checklist as an actor. Next time we're going to show you how to use casting networks slash LA casting. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We will answer it. This is Cinematography for Actors. I'm Haley Royal. Thanks for joining me.